When Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans, entire neighborhoods vanished under 20 feet of water. The devastation ranks as one of America's worst natural disasters, but also one of the worst man-made disasters. That's because since its early days, New Orleans has been sinking. The soil in and near New Orleans is a tenuous combination of silt, sand, and clay. Over time, the soil compacts and sinks. Before the Mississippi River Delta was developed, the river flooded regularly. Fresh silt from the floodwaters replaced the sinking ground and kept the land above sea level. But New Orleans is built to keep the river out. High walls called levees have been erected around the city to keep rising river levels at bay. They have also kept out the silt and sediments. Without the renewing sediments, New Orleans continues ever so slightly to sink. Its present rate is three feet every hundred years. Parts of New Orleans today are eight feet below sea level. If another storm surge like Katrina breaches the levees, New Orleans will again be underwater. The odds of another flood are increasing because the ground under New Orleans is not all that's shrinking. So are the surrounding wetlands. Every hour, another two acres of wetlands disappears under the sea. Like the sinking of New Orleans, the reasons are largely man-made. Canals dug through the wetlands increase erosion and destroy habitat. And levees help funnel the silt out into the Gulf before it can be absorbed by the coastal wetlands. Ironically, it is the wetlands, not the levees, that truly protect New Orleans from the sea. Every three miles of wetland absorbs a foot of a storm surge, acting as Mother Nature's insurance policy against hurricanes. Since 1930, Louisiana has lost over 1,900 square miles of wetlands. By 2050, many barrier islands will disappear altogether. New Orleans is still sinking. Unless something is done, the Big Easy will slip beneath the sea with or without another hurricane. <laughs>